Okay, got another bathroom to do here. Um, I've waterproofed the tub area and uh, got ready for tile. There's going to be um, a built in in this closet that you're going to see here. So that's going to be all framed in, and there's going to be a kind of a cabinet in there. There's going to be tile on the walls outside the tub area. And this is also 3x6 subway tile, white. So I started the tile here, and that's going to extend, like I said, into the um, walls. This is a pretty small bathroom. Um, got a recessed cubby or niche, uh, framed, picture framed in with uh, 2x6 cap. And it's a pretty simple bathroom. There's going to be 8x8 uh, tile on the floor and uh, I actually can't finish this bathroom all at once because uh, the glass tile border is actually missing so I'm going to have to stop the tile at a certain height and then come back when the border comes in, the glass border comes in so I'm pretty much at that now so um, now this is actually like a week later that I left the bathroom and waited for this glass tile to come in. So I put the glass tile in and the chair rail on top of the border in the outer part of the bathroom and then went to a greater height in the tub area and just put the glass border without a chair rail and then just more uh, three by six subway tile on top of the glass border. The glass border consists of uh, two by six, I mean two by one green glass and then there's a one by eight blue glass on top of that and then it's all just subway tile. Um, so there you see that cabinet in and it's been framed in so I can uh, finish up all the tile and I put the floor down and grout it. So this is pretty much uh, all done except for the floor and needs to be grouted. The um, glass border needs to be installed with a high polymer content thin set. I usually use Tech Superflex because uh, otherwise uh, regular thin sets are really not going to stick to the to the glass. So you need to use um, a very good quality thin set that's been approved by, by the glass company to install the glass. The rest of the walls in the uh, tub area is installed with thin set and on the outside of the um, tub area where there's no water you can just go ahead and use mastic. So uh, you're just going to make sure you use thin set in wet areas so you don't have any re-emulsification of the mastic. And so this is the whole bathroom is finished uh, all grouted white grout and I did put boost it's an additive to um, make the tire the grout stain resistant so I added that to the grout and uh, this bathroom is pretty much done uh, really fairly simple uh, and that's it white subway tile with an 8 inch floor tile Another one done.